I'm gonna tell you four things that tons of content creators do that can get your channel deleted off of YouTube, which means all of that hard work and effort that you're putting into your channel, gone. It will no longer exist. So pay attention to all of the things that I'm gonna be talking about here. And we're starting right now. This video is brought to you by Placeit. Placeit has easy to edit YouTube intros, channel banners, end screens, and more for YouTubers. And the best part is you don't have to have any additional software to use Placeit. You do everything directly in your browser. And because of their professionally designed templates, you don't have to have any design skills to make pro quality designs for your YouTube channel. Check this out. Using Placeit is as easy as selecting the template you want to use, editing the text to fit your needs, adjusting the colors to match your channel, and then saving your finished file to your computer. You can even upload images to really make your designs pop. To try Placeit for yourself and save 15% off of your Placeit account, use the link in the description of this video. Okay, so when you look around YouTube, you're gonna see content creators doing all kinds of crazy things. And the reason that they're doing all types of crazy things is because, you know, everybody's trying to grow and get attention and all that stuff. But in addition to that, people are doing things that they just don't know are a huge mistake and can cost them their YouTube channel. So we're gonna talk about those things because I know you don't wanna lose your YouTube channel. Do you? Of course not. The very first thing on this list that is extremely common, and I don't know why it's so common. I don't know if it's because somebody made a video about it and recommended it. I don't know if it's because there's just not enough information out there about it. I don't know if it's because people misunderstand what tags and keywords and all that stuff is. I don't know why. But the thing that can get your channel deleted is called tag stuffing. Tag stuffing, also known as keyword stuffing, is where instead of using the tag box that YouTube gives us, people cram a bunch of tags or keywords that they're trying to bring attention to their video for, they will just cram a bunch of those down in the video description. YouTube does not like that, and any content that they find that has the tags piled up in the description like that is at risk of being deleted off of YouTube. In fact, YouTube specifically says, the following types of content are not allowed on YouTube. Placing excessive tags in the video description, tag stuffing, rather than placing them as tags upon upload. It's not allowed on YouTube, so it's probably a good idea not to put that into practice at all. Oh, and really quick, this is my first time making a video with this craziness going on in the background. If it's distracting for you, or if you think it looks cool, or you think it looks bad, like whatever your thoughts are, let me know down in the comments below, because if it's too much, I, I, I just won't do it anymore. But anyway, another thing that can get you in trouble, so to speak, on YouTube is using another content creator's channel name in your tags or metadata. This also falls under misleading metadata, so it's something that you want to avoid at all costs, never do it for whatever reason, with the exception of if your video is about a content creator or if you're doing a collaboration with that content creator, then it's a little bit different. But if you're using tags of other channels in your tag box or in any of your metadata for the hope of connecting to their channel in some way so you can get traffic from it, that's a violation and you can get in trouble for that as well. So if you value your YouTube channel in any way, shape or form and all of the hours and hours and hours that you've spent making videos for YouTube and growing your online presence or the plan of growing your online presence through the content that you're uploading, please don't do those things or the ones that I'm getting ready to mention. Like spamming for example. And I don't mean like spamming, like thumbs up a bunch type of spamming. What I'm talking about is what a lot of specifically new content creators do, where they go to other YouTube channels and they say things like sub for sub or hug for hug. That can get you deleted from YouTube because you are literally spamming the same comment over and over again on other YouTube channels. And as a quick public service announcement on behalf of myself and other content creators that take this stuff seriously, when you are in the comments and you're doing that type of activity, and you're saying sub for sub and then you change it to hug for hug because you think it's clever or whatever, we identify that. And when we do identify that, we will block you or we will report you directly to YouTube for spamming our YouTube comments. And just as a heads up, because you know, you're watching my videos most likely because you are trying to get some activity on your YouTube channel or you're trying to learn more about YouTube. So just as a heads up, that's also like the slowest possible way that you can grow your YouTube channel. It's not gonna work, it never works. It's not, gonna, it's not something that's gonna help you. This one, according to YouTube, is called incentivization spam. And what they say about it is this. I'm gonna skip all the stuff up here at the top and just go straight to this also includes content where the only purpose is to boost subscribers views or other metrics for example offering to subscribe to another creator's channel so only in exchange for them subscribing to your channel also known as sub for sub content 
Again, not something that you want to get into the practice of doing or that you want to do at all. YouTube also says in another section about comment spam, the following types of content are not allowed on YouTube. Hey guys, check out my channel slash video here when the channel or video has nothing to do with the video that it was posted in. And look, I know if you're a new content creator, maybe you might've seen other people doing this and you might think, hey, you know, this is what I thought that you needed to do to grow a YouTube channel. And oh my gosh, I didn't know it was something wrong. What am I gonna do? I do want to just let you know that YouTube does have a resource for you. In addition to watching my content and other people who make content like mine, YouTube has a resource for you called the YouTube Creator Academy. They built it for their YouTube content creators. It's 100% free and it teaches you the best practices about YouTube, including things like this that you should not be doing. Moving along, the next thing that we have on this list is copyright. Now, there's a lot of myths that are out there about copyright in terms of like what's okay to do, what's not okay to do, and I just want to take care of one really quick that pops up all over the internet where people are thinking that it's okay, but it is not. Using clips or small parts of music in your YouTube videos that you do not have permission to use or that you cannot argue as fair use. The reason I wanted to bring this one up in the first place is because, you know, one of the things that I do because of the type of content that I make is I'm often on, you know, on Reddit and on Facebook, I'm, I'm looking around in the communities around new content creators, seeing the questions that you have and things like that so I can help you solve those problems here on this channel. So when I'm in some of those communities, I see typically other new YouTubers that are giving advice to other new YouTubers um, saying things like, hey, it's okay to use five seconds or a second or whatever of a song if you want to, but in reality, that is not okay if you do not have the license or you do not have permission to use a track in any capacity, you are not allowed to use that. It doesn't matter if it's one second or you know the full entire song, the violation is exactly the same. So that is not okay. And I just wanted to make sure that you understand that. But look, when it comes to YouTube, there are rules that we all have to play by. And since those rules are in place as a YouTube content creator, it's really important to make sure that you do stay up to date with the rules that YouTube has. So because of that, I'm gonna put some links down in the description for you that will go to the YouTube Terms of Service, to the YouTube Creator Academy, and of course, the YouTube community guidelines. Now, if you're just getting started on YouTube and you wanna learn how to become a YouTuber step-by-step, -step, click into this playlist right here, right now. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.